Airbus has, for the first time in really half a decade, acknowledged that there is progress on a new A350 model, often dubbed the A350 Stretch. This prospective model in the broader Airbus A350 family would, as the name suggests, represent a increase in capacity and length over the 1000 model, and address airlines' requests for high-capacity airliners that are only going to improve efficiency rather than being, say, a burden. At the 2025 Dubai Dubai Air Show, the plane maker's CEO confirmed that they are studying a larger model in the family for a one-day possible release, and that comes at a time when the competitor Boeing is also doing something similar. While Airbus confirms it has begun work on a larger model in the 350 family, not necessarily saying that it will formally launch, but that it's studying it, Boeing has done something similar, the 77710, which would form part of the 777X family. These studies once more reignite the age-old rivalry that we all love between these two plane makers as they fight for market share and more importantly fight to innovate, determine the feasibility of a larger plane that would address some of those concerns that airlines have raised about the future capacity in the industry. Most notably, if we're looking at airlines on a public domain, that would be Emirates, who have been searching for a larger plane for some time, as they have concerns about their aging fleet of the A380 family. And without plane makers progressing with an A380 Neo as of yet, well, the airline has to set its sights elsewhere. And we got our first hint that this is not the only airline that is seeking something similar. It's just Emirates has been rather outspoken about its interest. Airbus's CEO confirming that they have had a number of airlines come to them saying that they're very interested in a larger model with the hopes that the larger model would aid them to grow and meet demand in future decades. But see, in terms of prospects for an A350 stretch order, when Emirates confirmed it would commit to an additional 65 of the 777s, in that very same release, we found out a little bit more about Boeing's alternative, as essentially this purchase gave Boeing the confidence to begin progressing with feasibility studies for the 777. Technical feasibility of the 777 has already been achieved, Flight Global reporting that in the 2010s. However, for Boeing over the last decade, the 777X has really been a problem child. While offering airlines fantastic capabilities on paper, it is now running five years behind a schedule. On Airbus's side, the rumoured A350 stretch has been part of the industry for far longer than just, say, the last couple of months and strictly being driven by Emirates. The A350 stretch was investigated also in the 2010s as a way to replace aging wide-body aircraft, whether four-engine or twin-engine, with a view of seeing capacity exceed 400 passengers. When Airbus decided against progressing with the A350-800 and instead to consolidate the series into just two passenger variants, onlookers argued that there was a fresh opportunity to pitch a new model that would give airlines the capacity that they needed without sacrificing efficiency. In the mid-2010s, as the 350 stretch gained a little bit more folk and the A380-800 was still in production, Airbus was really hopeful of keeping the Super Jumbo alive through last-ditch sales pushes. So you see, while it was somewhat interested in the launch of a new A350 model, it was also aware that if it was to proceed with this at that point, the world's largest passenger plane would no longer be required. Essentially, the manufacturer would be cannibalizing an existing model, which it was still trying to get sales for, for another. However, as 2025 comes to a close, our industry and Airbus's production portfolio has changed quite dramatically. Now, the A380-800, while flying around the world, has seen its production come to a close, and it means that a prospective launch of a new A350 model would not kill the 380, but rather actually provide airlines with a bit of a solution to super jumbo problems that they may be facing. While Airbus acknowledging the appetite for an A350 stretch is fantastic news for the customers who are seeking to obtain this plane, it doesn't mean that the aircraft will launch, it also doesn't mean the aircraft won't launch, but it's the first positive indication that Airbus is listening to customers on this matter on a public scale in quite some time, remembering that in the latter stages of the 2010s, right before the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, Airbus said it wanted to instead focus on its available aircraft in the program, and then, and then very visibly the A350-1000 ULR and the A350-F. 
But now things could be set to change. Keen to hear your take with talk on larger planes really occupying a significant part of the industry in the last few months. How do you believe they would benefit airlines? Do you believe there is enough of an appetite from airlines to get these planes into production? And when do you see them even emerging? Are they a plane for the 2030s? And if so, is there better engine technologies that can be adopted so that you get something like an A350neo stretch? Keen to hear your take. Appreciate the support. Take care, and I'll see you in a couple of hours, no doubt, for more Dubai Air Show coverage. And flight, and we'll fly.